to uh, Kurt Cobain's suicide? Ah, um, I was out on this island in the Pacific, uh, which I told you about before. The island's about this big, and there's like, you know, very bad communications. I was I isolated out there for a long time, and I got a fax one day from my manager uh, saying, you know, that he thought I should know this. You know, there's no CNN or anything out there. Mm. And so it was it was pretty uh, a heavy thing for me to deal with. I have always had mixed feelings about him, especially yeah. in the early days when um, when Nevermind broke and so on. I couldn't quite hear it, uh, you know, what the whole thing was about. It took me a while to figure out what they were about. But there was all this, this negative thing in the press where he was saying about how he couldn't deal with it and how, you know, he couldn't deal with the success and, and all this. And I kind of, I kind of got pissed off at that because I, you know, if you can't deal with it, then get out, yeah. you know, get out of the way. Um, but then I think over the last couple of years, I, I kind of understood that this was maybe the one guy out of all these people, the so-called alternative whole thing, that maybe was really, really true about what he was saying and really had a hard time dealing with all the stuff that was going on around him. And I kind of in the last, I'd say, year really started actually appreciating him and respecting him and um, really hearing something completely different in their music. So I, I reacted pretty bad to it. it. It was something that was pretty heavy for me for a while. Um, and you know, now it's just, I, I've been listening a lot to Nirvana's music for the last three or four weeks and I keep hearing new things in it and finding new things that I appreciated. And so it's, it's, it was a pretty heavy thing. Mm -hmm.